Hi there, welcome to another face paint tutorial from the Face Paint Forum shop. I'm artist Rep Elizabeth Gale and today I'm going to show you a colourful dream catcher. So I've got some fusion pearl white and I'm going to use a sponge dauber. I'm just going to load it up really well and then create a nice round circle. And so while the circle's drying, I'm going to create the feathers with a half inch angle brush. And you can see I've put some guidelines just so I make the middle feather straight and then it will make the other feathers easier to get the other feathers in line. And this one stroke is a global one stroke and it's called London. And I really like the colours, they blend really nicely together, they're really pretty together. And make sure that you've got the dark colour on the outside. And you're just pushing down with the brush and wiggling at the same time to create sort of jagged edges. And you're going to go in and put two smaller feathers either side of the bigger feather. Just use the angle of the brush at the top there to make them a bit more pointy at the top. And then I'm going to load a smaller, slightly smaller sponge dauber with the same one stroke. And then using a BAM stencil, uh, what, I think the number's 1424, I'm just using the middle part of the stencil for the middle of the dream catcher. And you're just pushing down with your dauber, making sure um, that you just get the rainbow colours on the middle section. Make sure the paint's you're better having the paint drier than too wet and you can just keep going over until you get a nice even finish. And then another BAM stencil 1030 to um, sponge on some little white stars using some DFX white. And you can just put these wherever you want and I'm using a little tiny finger dauber. And these are great for stenciling. You know, stencing on your own arm is quite difficult. <laughs> so it's so much easier stencing on somebody else's arm or their face, or so it'd be a lot quicker when you do it on the job. And then I've got number two local nail brush, and to just do the outline of the feathers, I've loaded up some black DFX, I'm making the lines thicker on the edge, and then flicking in every now and again. Try to make them look a bit more random and they look a bit, a bit more feather like. And then I forgot to do this step, so when I was doing it earlier. So uh, I've got a, a filbert brush, and I'm just going to use the same one stroke, um, using the three colours, uh, to create some little beads in between the feathers, and then three on the top. So for your hanger of your dream catcher. But ideally, you do this step before you start outlining. Oops. And so back with your uh, number two brush and um, DFX black, start outlining um, all of the dream catcher. You put some long brush strokes down for the middle of the to define the middle of the feathers, and you want to put some little lines in just to connect the feathers and the beads to the main part of the dream catcher, and then outline all the beads at the top and create a little loop. 
uh, for your dream catcher to hang up as well. This design seems to be really popular in the summer at festivals and things, especially with teenagers who prefer to have their arms painted. And you could adapt this. You could adapt this to the face, but obviously you'd have to. It might need quite a long face. <laughs> or uh, you could just leave off the hanging part and just do the circle bit next to the eye. I've done that before with the feathers coming down the cheek. And then I've got some white, I've been seeing, doing some white DFX um, on a number two brush and just putting some highlights on one side. All on the feathers and then the beads. And then on the same, on, uh, on the circle part of the Dreamcatcher, just a big swirly half C shape. More dots. And then you could totally leave this step off if you wanted to make it quicker. Um, I've got a number two brush again with some black DFX. And just doing some little half circle shapes all around the edge of the circle part of the Dreamcatcher. And that's the Dreamcatcher finished. I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to visit Face Paint Forum Shop for all your face painting supplies. Thank you. Bye.